Hey, yo, what's going on with it once again? Bros, women, bronies, and pegs. This is the one you of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Criticism Guy 2009. Of course, you guys, I'm the rest of the intro before I begin, do begin. Definitely check out freedomnetwork.com. Of course, subscribe to my series on now. If any people want fresh channel banner design, in our picture professionally made for I will put their link to their YouTube channel and, of course, their official website. Many people are interested in that partnership, best partnership I've ever had. You could just cut. Click on, them, yeah, click on them on Google if you want to. So, sorry about that thing being in your way. Without further ado, let's get into this. And I am <laughs> a little bit um, weirded out to be talking about it. But, um, man, I've been wanting to talk about this for about two days already. So, once again, I'm going to give a shout out to Mr. EW Network. You guys know who he is already. Sorry if I'm wearing this um, <laughs> muscle shirt again. I just came back from the gym, too. It was probably the last day I was doing it for a while because I was in the gym for like doing a boxing class almost four months straight and I'm tired as heck with it but I know summer's coming up but my god I was just whew, blown out oh and videos brought by back Tabasco sauce this stuff is awesome <laughs> the smell is just literal high for real man um <laughs> so I'm actually gonna leave the article to you guys I actually have it right here so um shout out to you now once again he actually got the source right here from Nintendo News let me back up a little bit so hopefully I'm not too close to the camera <laughs> So Xenoblade Chronicles X sexualizes 13-year-old Lin. And let me tell you something about Xenoblade Chronicles right now. Maybe some of you people are huge fanboys or fangirls of it. For me, personally, it's kind of not really my taste in gaming. But because it is a JPR, uh, actually no, JRPG, Japanese role-playing game. Or just an MMORPG altogether. But the thing is, it usually doesn't really interest me or fascinate me. Except for like two of them that actually interest me a little bit. Which was, of course, um, League of Legends and... Um, Diablo 1, 2, and 3, all three of the series, they were amazing. And the whole Gauntlet series, too. But other than those three, I really have too much, you know, fascination with it. Oh, and can't forget about Golden Sun. I was really big into that, too, in Castlevania. I don't know if that would count as an MMO. I doubt it. But, yeah, um, oh, my God. I had to talk about this one. I was usually not a really big fan of it. I do like the, the really beautiful, amazing overworld, like, of technology and everything of the game. But other than that, it doesn't really have a huge interest in me at all. I know so many people are overhyped as hell for the game. Others, maybe you're in the same boat as me. And you're not really a huge fanboy or fangirl, you know, like myself. Like, um, extremely really deep into this franchise. I think it's not coming out until 2016 of, like, next fall, 2016. That's a little bit good year and a half from now. So that's a long time from now. Or it could be coming out this fall. I don't know. It's usually in October, November, December, sometimes early September or late September when the games start coming really big. That's usually the three to four months when games start coming out really huge that are really high in demand. Like about three, four months after E3 is all done. Because we still got to wait maybe two or three more months. Usually it's in June, July, late, early August at the most. But yeah, let me read this to you at last. And I'll put the link to the article. I probably already put it in the annotations. These are next to me in my face. Who knows? So it says, following yesterday, and the person that did this was Sean Taylor, April 29th. This was about two days ago, or three days now. It says May 2nd now. Oh, speaking of which, this is completely out topic, top topic. Off topic, I'm so going to be going to see that thing on the pay-per-view. I wish I could go see it in person, even though I'm only like a couple blocks away from because I'm here in LV in Vegas. But I know the whole Pacquiao, like Mayweather fight's going to be on there because if any people don't know, I'm not just with a big baseball fan. I'm really huge at UFC and unboxing stuff. I really wish I could have went to see it, but the tickets sold the hell out really fast. So whatever happens again, oh, I'm totally going to see it out there. Everything down there is just expensive as hell. That's why it's for tours. But let me go into this right now. <laughs> All right, following yesterday's, and once again, it was from Sean Taylor, April 29th. Following yesterday's release of Xenoblade Chronicles X in Japan, players took to the Miiverse to share personal experiences with... Monolith, I think it's Mo Monolith, Monolith Soft's massive RPG on the Wii U. Screenshots posted the Xenoblade X Chronicles showing vast landscape and high-tech combat along with monster galore and as well as an obvious lack of clothing. <laughs> Quote-unquote, I guess. Xenoblade Chronicles X also allowed players to customize the equipment and gear for all members of his or her party. And the options including everything from bulky armor to barely decent strips of fabric. Miiverse hasn't been shy about the posting of the images of near nude, near nude party members of Nintendo Social Work as well, either. Lao's bare muscular porticles, I think it's, yeah, pectacorals, or whatever it is, are full on display as a 31 year old guns down an alien beast with his teammates. A 28 year old Elma sheds her sturdy spacesuit, leaving little to the imagination. Linny, or Lin, I think, 
At the age of 13, stripped down in a tight bikini which shows off her cleavage. Yes, you heard right. And I'm not trying to sexualize a young teenager out of their content. Many of their images of Lindley shows the child wearing articles far more revealing than their average bikini. And the Japanese players of the Miiverse don't seem to really notice or mind that game. It depicts of a young child in a state undressed. Japanese attitudes on sexuality differ from the Western societies, aka here in the United States and the US of America, obviously. Um, Western societies, as children as young as 13, can legally consist, consent to sexual activities in much of Japan. Wow, I thought it was like 16 or 17. Damn, it's way younger. Because over here, it's usually 18 or 21 or up, you know? Of course, with alcohol, it's different, it's 21, but you know, the older these kids are going to do it anyways, regardless, no matter what you tell them, unfortunately. But that's how it is. In fact, I used to be one of those back in the day, I'm not going to lie. But, anyways, um, yeah, um, let me still keep reading this. Conceal, like, da 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 da. This may explain why Xenoblade X Chronicles X lets players dress up as child, dress up as a child as though she was an adult. Lin, who is clearly said to be 13 on the game's Japanese website, is the youngest female development, the female in development that have ever appeared in the game. The developers of Xenoblade X Chronicles have admitted that the sexiness was a factor of character design, especially for women. But Lin, not may not end up so young in a Western localization. Nintendo of America could opt to change her to 18 and avoid any questions, or they could just keep her age and cover her up instead. We included some of the images to take it from the Miiverse, like the ones I'm showing you right there, of the outfits players can equip the 13-year-old Lynn with. Whether this is acceptable decision by the developers to create an intriguing, or intriguing yeah, character of an inexcusable lack of morality and the parts for is for you to yourself to decide and of course it's all the credited people got credited from red 72 to yamashoto 410 and yamashoto 410 again so they're the ones i put out and then one from home run 1026 and this is from sean taylor yeah yeah he's speaker for 3ds i don't care and uh yeah that's pretty much it so my overall thoughts views and opinions um this is the thing. I mean, I know myself, maybe one day if I were to have children in my 30s, maybe 40s, because I'm still in my mid late 20s right now, so still, for me, I feel like I'm still way too young to be having children. Plus, the financial side of it, especially the way with my credit's been going, unfortunately, there's no way in hell I can ever have children. There's just absolutely no way. I mean, even if I were to have them, I still wouldn't really, really want it to do it too much. I mean, I do have it, but not a lot. That's what it is. But... Excluding that little factor, I will say this, um, the thing with Japanese culture, especially with some of their stuff with anime and hentai and all that stuff, not, not the regular one, I'm just talking about the pure pornographic version of hentai, and some of my younger viewers you might want to leave now, if your parents are watching this, you probably might want to click the channel off, because I'm going to not try to get to too many deep details, but I will say this, it's a little bit graphic, and there's a lot of different ones, unfortunately, you know, I was kind of exposed to this in my teen years, I'm not going to say too much deep stuff into it, there's a lot of different titles out there. I remember hearing like Andagio. Of course, there's the other two, a gay and lesbian type of thing, like Yuri and Yaoi. I really didn't care too much for those because I wasn't into that. Um, only three big ones I do remember being back in my teen years when I used to fap like hell, man. That was really, really bad. And this is before I was starting to get like a couple girls every now and then, but because I was just super nerd and out back in the day. I was <laughs> a freaking wreck back then. Now, I'm not going to lie. Even though I was very super mature, but at that time, I was a little bit reckless in a way, <laughs> in a nerd status, you know. Um, what else was there? There was um, the big breasted categories. It was um, what else was there? I'm trying to think. Of course, it was the furry stuff. I wasn't into that very much. It, if I was back in the day, probably just a little bit, but not very much. It didn't last very long. Probably last for a couple of weeks, and I kind of got out of it. And then the last two big ones I was very, very into was. Um, <laughs> like tight jean versions of hentai chicks that one and another one I was extremely hugely into was um long haired and big butts and a couple of them were bbws too if you don't know what that is do not look that up on the internet especially if you're a child under 18 please don't because i'm not getting in trouble for, i'm the yeah, not gonna get in trouble for the responsibility of your parents to take care of that because i don't want them coming down my throat it's like oh you told my kid to watch porn i'm not telling your kid to watch porn sir or madam whoever's watching this with you but um I'm just letting them know what's out there. I'm just trying to keep it real, people. Anyways, yeah, that's, that's the different factors that come in with this. Japanese culture, oh my god. I've never been out to Japan. That's the one place I actually want to go with. 
before unfortunately I kicked the bucket either sooner or very very late in my 70s 80s 90s or whatever I wouldn't mind having done but there but as, as sad as it is that's how it is it's an extremely super perverted country out there I'm not saying every Japanese person is like that maybe there's a few handful of them that you know they actually treat people like human beings especially with foreigners I don't know if they're very racist to foreigners or they're really cool with foreigners because it's like here in the United States I'm not saying over here in America it's completely morality I mean look at the music videos nowadays I mean the stuff that was playing on my, during my middle school and high school years, that's still going on, but it's excelling to a higher level now. Uh, and I'm not going to get too much deep into that because, you know, I don't want to get no copyright claims or nothing like that because I'm trying to keep it as clean here as possible, especially for my younger viewers. But I will tell you this, folks, um, especially if you were my age, a lot of people, if you remember listening to rap or hip-hop, like people that used to sing, I think some of them still sing like um, T-Pain, um, Flo Rider, um, Pitbull. I know he's still out there making a crap ton of music. Um, who else? J-Lo used to sing a lot back in the day. I think she's still doing it a lot now. Um, I don't want to say once to find. She wasn't too over-sexualized a little bit. And even other chicks like freaking Nicki Minaj. Um, this other chick, I forgot her name. Uh, like Iggy Azalea. That, that chick came out way after I was out of high school and college. Um, just last year. Even that other chick I cannot stand for the hell of me. You not, People know I'm talking about that Disney chick. I used to be in Hannah Montana. Miley Cyrus. I never cared for her at all. Even when she was decent, she still annoyed the crap out of me. So when she did greater herself even more, I was like, Psh, I just didn't like her as much. Or Ariana Grande. I know a lot of my younger cousins and nephews love the crap out of me. Of course, I'm way too old for that shit or whatever. But let's get back into the anime's um, status of this proportion, okay? The last thing I want to touch base with is, uh, is that with Japanese culture, they really don't mind when they watch a lot of manga and um, emojis and... Um, anime hentai stuff or whether it's hentai or it's just clean plain average anime which has a lot of action or comedy or um especially with the ones that are sentai that's like soft core porn version of like what hentai is it's like or i think it was etchy or something i'm not sure if it was etchy or not i don't want to dig into that territory too deeply because that's but here in the united states sometimes that's a little bit of a huge debate because uh let's just say it has a lot of people's feather yeah it ruffles their feathers a little bit that's as far as i'm gonna go with that and that's it so as far as lynn goes i really don't care what the heck they do with her because i'm not gonna get the game plus i don't even have a wii u so it doesn't matter i'm still gonna wait until they make their next future console hopefully it's in 2016 if it ain't the end of this year i'm hoping next year that nintendo please take it out like next year if you're not gonna do it this year with the whole project dina thing that you guys are doing now. i would love to see the hell out of that thing i really would and that's it i'll put the put the link in the article in the description box below I already put it for the um, annotations, and that's it. Peace out once again, bros, women, bronies, and pegasus. We'll see you when I see you guys. Have a good day. Have a good night wherever you're out around the world. Don't drink, smoke weed at the same time. Don't take the reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep the life out there. And until then, next time, guys, peace out. Ladies and goodbye. And um, stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Brand new videos on this channel almost every single day. When that said, I'm gone. I'm out like sauerkraut and all that good stuff. And uh, you guys, take it easy. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay on the grind. Be easy. Be you. Do you. Do yourself. And I'm sorry I'm clapping so much. I'm really out of here. I'm um, getting the heck out. And um, I will talk to you guys soon. Look out for more future content. And um, take it easy, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.